that's done. Now yep. it's time to meet with the chef. <laughs> Let's get to it. So I was thinking, I obviously have to clean all of this up, and but we were, but the water is right here, and we're gonna make electricity right here. The pole is right here, so we were gonna do like a tent and put all of it like an outdoor kitchen, and then we'll have lights around this area. Oh, it has some mint here. Blueberry. See, oh. I just did that. I did think about setting up the farm to table in here and putting that, crinkly lights that'd everywhere. Be, that'd be fantastic. Really? Yeah. We can do it. I think so. My name is Jean-Marie Jocelyn. I'm opening a restaurant called Rustica in Silverleaf. And tonight we're gonna to do a salmon belly uh, uh, spring roll. Then we are gonna do a pork belly bao. Then we're gonna do a salad from Wesley Farm with everything from the farm. It's fantastic. And then we have a croissant bread pudding with uh, some ice cream and some vanilla sauce. Thank you. Leslie Wells, Amanda Wells, and my mom and dad, we want to thank y'all all for coming out, uh, always supporting us and doing everything that y'all have done for us, and we want to just you know, thank y'all with this, with the dinner and everything, and uh, so we just appreciate how much y'all have done for us, and uh, we're just trying to you know, start another chapter in, in what we're doing, and you know, let y'all be the first to do it, and have that opportunity. Uh, so my name is Steve Krakowski, uh, this is my wife Christina, we actually moved down here just about a year ago. And uh, the Wells basically became our extended family uh, down here. We're ready to go. We'll go, go ahead and say a prayer real quick. Lord, just thank you for the state. <laughs> How does it feel serving? Amazing. I like Professional. it. Professional. You having fun? Yeah, yeah. You guys are doing a great job. You know, I'm going to work at the restaurant when I'm older. Thanks to the restaurant. Yeah, as cool yeah. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking really good, huh? Yeah.
I have a greater chef right here. Okay, a greater chef. Left. Grace and help us. I think it was. I think it was a good night tonight. Uh, yeah. I think. I think we did good. You got the aircon now, so yeah. You have no excuse. New aircon. Oh. Rustica. But he can cook. <laughs> That's what they say. They say. Maybe I have a daughter for him in a few years. <laughs> What do you think of tonight so far? Pretty good. The like kind of nice too. So. Those were good. Yeah. Here's our special tea croissant bread pudding. Appreciate it. Like so guys, how do you think the event went? I think it went really well. I had a lot of fun. It felt very cool to be in this space that has annoyed me so much. Uh, being overrun with weeds, it was really cool to see it completely transformed into a fancy dining area. What do you think? Yeah, I think it went really well. I liked it a lot. I was one of the servers, so it was really fun. Um, yeah. We just I think the chef told me at one point to go put the silverware out. Oh yeah. And I, um, I completely forgot. So they, so they tried to eat the food, but they didn't have any, any <laughs> they, silverware. Yeah, they delivered the first dish to everybody, the appetizer, and everyone was just staring at it. And then I realized, oh my word, we forgot the silverware. Yeah. So I ran to get it. And then when I came back, they were like, Oh, we just used our fingers. <laughs> Fancy finger dining. Do you think you would do it again? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I think so for sure. I just like to be one of the people that's eating the food. <laughs> How many people do you think you would do next time? I think, I think in, in this space, keeping it limited to 30 is good. Um, just for a couple more and then if we can expand outside of the greenhouse in the green area right outside here um that would be really cool because i have some poles we had cut down some trees and cut the branches off um to do some outdoor lighting out there and we we never got that set up so we can do that for the next time yeah do you think the people had fun yeah cool. i think so yeah so tell me some of your cheap tricks that you did to transform this place more of them. These stumps were right down the road from the farm. Someone had cut down some sick trees and thrown them out and I needed them temporarily. So we brought them here. They're super heavy so moving those was an ordeal. Um, these tables, I repainted them. A friend of ours had built them for one of our events and we use them for field trips and some other things but I repainted them put them in here because we needed seats for 30 and we didn't have a table for them which brings me to this table I reached out to some friends that have wedding venues and I asked them like where to get tables and chairs from so they suggested some places for me and when I reached out to those places uh, those rentals were not in my budget so <laughs> I showed a picture to a friend of ours, Mr. Warren, who also built these other high top tables. And I really just wanted a quote to see how much it was gonna to cost to build rather than rent something. So the next day he pulled up with a truckload of wood and we, okay, mostly he built this table and the benches and yeah, so now we have a table that seats 14, plus these. We're not actually up to 30 seats in here. We need one more table. But it worked. It was perfect for what we needed. And I love the way it looks. If it would fit in my dining room table, I would totally put it there. <laughs> so would you try to do this next month too? Um, I think so. It was a lot of fun. I love using... Um, our new friend, Mr. John from 
Rustica restaurant, the new restaurant in Silverleaf right down the road. It's called Rustica. <laughs> Rustica. Rustica. Because he was he was amazing. The yeah. food he set the bar so high for future events. And hi. <laughs> he's gonna do so well. But I do think it would be fun to have like feature other chefs in the area and do a different one each time. So what do you think? Yeah. It was great food. <laughs> Next time I'll let you come out here and not just babysit. <laughs> Next time would you use my pigs? Yeah, yes. I really want to do that. I think if we could do like roast a whole hog or use our beef and vegetables, that would just add so much to the entire experience. So Yes, gotta find a new butcher since the old one retired. Do you think you would do this next month too? Uh, I think so, yeah. I definitely want to do it again. I don't know if I'll wait and do one a month. I actually think it would be better oh, yeah, to do once like a, month. a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That way, whatever decorations we use, they're still alive. Um, and we're not spending that money every single month to do that. So I would do like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A different chef each night. Um, and a different theme. Yeah. So where are we walking to? Throwing this away, Mason. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs>